Hello and welcome to another financial analysis video. Today I'm looking at uh, American Express and uh, the quote you see on the screen is reflective of uh, Monday, September 28th. And you know, I came across American Express while I was updating some dividend announcements and was just kind of taken back by the fact that the stock was at a 52 week low and was trading at 12 at under 13 uh, price to earnings ratio. So essentially, you know, the S&P 500 right now is trading around 17 times earnings. And so for American Express to be under 13 is a pretty big discount. Yet there wasn't anything significantly weak that I was seeing in this industry. So it allowed me to kind of look at this and, and, and ask myself, what is going on with this company that would cause this, uh, quite frankly, awful stock performance? And so I kind of dug in a little bit. I always, first things first, I always look at the balance sheet just to see if there's any leverage concerns. This is a financial company, and really they've deleveraged significantly over the last couple of quarters. So there wasn't anything there that uh, that alarmed me. Uh, on returns, I saw, now this return on equity chart looks volatile, but it's actually a very tight range. Uh, these charts are designed to automatically generate. So it's between 26 and 28%. So the return on equity has been pretty consistent. The return on assets, uh, another tight range here, as you can see by the chart, and it's actually slightly climbing. So again, I get a little confused. Then I see this chart on revenue and I say, uh oh, we may have an issue. Looking here at quarterly revenue, I see the dip. And then on trailing 12 month, and this is where the alarm goes off in my head. So American Express is having issues growing the business. There's just no doubt about it looking at these revenue numbers. And then I did a little additional research kind of on my own. So I looked outside the numbers to see what people were saying and I found an article on Seeking Alpha by a guy named uh, Dallas Salazar and uh, he, he left no bones about it. He said that the management has to go at American Express and he talks in the article about how the company looking at this has blamed things like uh, foreign exchange reserve, uh, excuse me, foreign exchange issues. That's a currency related problems, issues in the in the global economy. But really, if you if you look at things closely and uh, look at some of the revenue side of the industry, you're not seeing precipitous drops in revenue from Discover or from Capital One. I did not look at MasterCard or Visa. Uh, they, they are considered in a different group in the S&P 500, so I try to keep it within consumer finance. But really, we got to face facts here when it comes to this company. And this is where you got to compare a company's performance to the economy. This is a consumer credit card company. We are in an economy that is nearing full employment, so consumer spending is going to get good. Retail spending is likely going to be good. So why is a credit card company having problems? And I have to agree with Dallas here in that you shouldn't be blaming uh, macroeconomic conditions, especially global ones, when things here domestically are so strong. The reason this company is having issues is other people are beating them for the business. It's as simple as that. Credit cards in America have not had any type of decline over the last couple of years. And I mean, look, from 2012 to 2014, American Express had no problem running up revenue. Things haven't changed that significantly in the last couple of quarters outside of energy. The consumer is still strong. Employment is still strong. Employment globally is strong. So 
the fact that this is happening, I think, really, to his point, is unacceptable. I'm not going to call for a management change at this point. That is uh, the decision of the board and the, and the shareholders. I do not own any shares of this company. But something's got to be done for this company to proactively grow the business. They have to compete with their competitors. It's as simple as that. Until then, I'm, I am going to put American Express on my watch list. If they get another bad quarter here coming up, which they should announce next month, uh, they're going to dip down into the 60s. And at that point, I may uh, put my toe in the water, so to speak, in hopes that changes do come and that the company's stock rallies. I hope you have a great day and happy investing.